Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Data Science NRIT. So we are the Data Science students from NRI Institute of Technology, Agarpalli. In past, we make videos on Janai series, Cloud Technology and etc. To make this new, we make a video on Software Testing. So myself screen was from Data Science third year. I am going to explain Software Testing. So I divide this video into two parts. In first part, we are going to learn introduction to Software Testing and framework which are developed to my project and finally I execute some of test cases in written normal environment and in part 2 I will going to explain how to deploy our project in github and how to run our project in Jenkins environment so let's dive into the video so what is software testing before that just tell me guys what is testing let's take an example whenever you go into buy a bulb you test that bulb in front of shop people right if the bulb is working finally, we purchase it. Otherwise, we purchase another bulb. So just like that, here also we test the functionality of the software. If the functionality of the software is working finally, we deliver it to the customer. Otherwise, we return to developers and fix the bugs. So the definition says that software testing is the process of evaluating a software application to ensure it meets the specific requirements and it is free of defects. It ensures the application performs as intended under various conditions. The main goal of this software testing is to deliver a high quality product that functions seamlessly and meets user expectations. There are two types of software testing. So first one is manual testing. In manual testing, we execute test cases manually without using any tools. And it is mainly focusing on exploratory testing. And second one is automation testing. In automation testing, we use tools or script to execute test cases. And next topic is tools used in testing. There are a lot of, lot of automation tools to test the web applications, mobile applications and APIs also. And first one is Selenium. Selenium is used to test the websites. And second one is TestNG. TestNG is derived from JNet. It is fully based upon Java. And third one is SOAPI. SOAPI is used to test the APIs. And final one is ABM. ABM is used to test the mobile applications. So why automation is needed? So let's take an example. Um, 10 testers working on 100 test cases for 10 hours and one tester working on 100 test cases for 10 minutes. So which one is better, right? So one tester working on 100 test cases for 10 minutes, which is better, right? So here, automation saves time, reduces human error and ensures consistency by automating deployed tasks. So advantages of automation are So advantages of automation testing are fast execution, reusability of test cases and accuracy. So next topic is understanding the framework. Before that, let's explore the framework which I have developed to my project. So this is the total framework which I have created. In this, I followed page object model approach. So these are our page object classes. By using this, you can manipulate code easily. And next, I integrate accelerated files to retrieve data from Excel files. So let's see. Yes, this is our accessibility code. By using this code, we retrieve data from Excel files easily. And next, I implement TestNG framework. By using TestNG framework, we can easily perform grouping and cross browsing testing. So let's see what definition says. A framework is a structured approach to organize code and resources for efficient testing and promoting reusability and scalability. There are different types of automation frameworks in the market. So there are data driven framework, module framework keyword framework and a hybrid framework etc so my project to my project i have chosen hybrid framework so what is the reason to choose that framework so before that let's see our website which is we are going to test right now so this is the website we are going to test right now this is a e-commerce website here you can buy clothes bags etc etc so this is the dummy website you can place any order here there are a lot of functionalities are included in this website let's see what are those uh, my own functionality and my orders functionality so these are the orders we placed before and my research functionality and a lot of them so to test this website you must need to choose hybrid framework so this framework combines strengths of multiple frameworks for flexibility and reusability, making it ideal for complex projects. So our next 
development approaches which I have followed to develop my framework. So I have implemented the page object model using page factory for better code and organization maintainability. So let's see. So this is the page of the class of uh, to create new account. So these are the web elements which I have cap captured from the website. So these are action methods to perform actions on that these website web elements. And next, incorporated Excel utilities to support data driven testing for dynamic and reusable test data. So I, ha I have used TestNG for grouping and executing test cases efficiently. So the techniques I have followed, first one is generate a detailed accident reports for easy tracking of test execution and results. And next one, added log reports for debugging and a monitoring purpose. So and last one is design modular test case structure to allow scalability and easier updates in the future. So the advantages are streamlined testing process with reusable components. And next, enhanced efficiency and accuracy in handling large scale projects. So the website we have I have chosen is large scale and improved reporting and monitoring with clear actionable insights. So the next topic is executing the test cases. So this is the most important topic. So before that, let's have a look about test cases which I have written for the website, which is before we see. So this is the Excel file I have read from a project. There are nearly 400 test cases for multiple scenarios. Here, I have written for test cases for account registration, account login, and account logout, forgot fun password functionality, etc. And the remainder are same as in test scenarios. So let's execute one of test case manually. Let's take account login. So the first test case is validating logging into application by providing valid credentials. So these are our valid credentials. Let's try to execute this. So open the website, uh, click on sign in, enter valid credentials. So it's finally sending. So my test case is passed. So take here is say pass and give it a color to this. Right. And let's move on to the next step. So the next step is validating the build. Before going to execute test cases, we need to check the stability of the build. It performed by testing high priority functionalities to check the given build is valid or not. Let's see how to test the build. Sandy testing. Sandy testing is the initial phase of testing. By using the testing method, you can easily check the build stability. Let's see what definition says. Quick checks to insert the build is stable for further testing. This step prevents major issues during detailed testing. So to perform standard testing, we have executed multiple test cases at a time. For that, TestNG provides a wonderful, con wonderful concept that is grouping. Let's see how, ex how execution is going with grouping concept. Here, I am using TestNG XML file to execute our test cases. So these four are our standard test cases. Let's try to execute them. Next test in this shoot. Yes. Travis Rolet. So first test case creating an account. Pass. Second test case signing into the account. Okay. Third test case searching the product. Okay.
adding cart to a product. Okay, here all of our test cases are passed. So our build is stable. Yes, we can go for further testing. So our next approach is data driven testing. So data driven testing is a testing approach where test data is uploaded from the script. It allows the same script to run with multiple sets of input of data. So let's see our test data. So this is our test data. Here I will return test data for five test cases. Let's see how it's going to execute. So I'm going to use uh, XML file again. Let's execute. Run as test and uh, It's going to running. Drive was loaded. First test case is running. Okay. Right, second test case. Right, yep, third test case. Fourth test case. Final test case. Let's see. Yes, all of our five test cases are passed. These are exceptions, ignore them. Okay. Yes. Our next topic is executing test cases in grid environment. So, what is Selenium Grid? Selenium Grid is a tool that allows you to run automated test tests on multiple machines and browsers simultaneously. It helps in distributing test cases across different environments, speeding up the testing process. The purpose of Grid is is good in test across multiple browsers and platforms simultaneously, ensuring cross environment compatibility. So let's see how it's going to execute. Before going to execute test cases, we need to turn on our server. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to command prompt. C, sorry, CMD. Okay. Now type the command Java jar selenium server on version number 4.27.0 dot jar standalone. Running now, take this host URL and open in a browser. So, this is our grid environment. So, zero sessions are running here. So, let's try to execute. Before going to execute, we have to change our project into remote environment. So, let's comment this. Okay, done. So let's try to execute. So this is our uh, parallel testing XML file, right? And as testing is shoot running. See, three test cases, three browsers are open. And let's see sessions. Yeah, two sessions are created. And third one is Firefox. And two are running. It is. So this is our grid environment. Here, how many browsers are you open? Our uh, sessions are created here. So let's see our execution. Okay, starting finally. One test case failed. Oh, sorry guys. 
So Firefox is always slow. So on disk is failed. On remaining are running. So let's see our sessions only. Yeah. They're still running. Yeah. Edge is passed. Chrome is still running. Yes, right. Okay, Chrome also passed. Yes, nearly. Yeah, Firefox is going to fail because Firefox is a slow browser. So ignore that. So our test case is all passed. So let's take advantages. So advantages of written run saves time with parallel execution, reduce the testing life cycle, ensures compatibility across environment and delivering reliable results for end users. So finally, we are going to enter the sessions. So let's meet in next session. In next session, I'll going to explain how to deploy our framework in GitHub and how to run our framework in Jenkins environment. So signing off, Srinivas, bye.